Hey guys, what's going on today? Today we're gonna do a little smaller opening compared to the last one. I know that Vivid Voltage opening that uh, me and my wife did was a pretty long one. But uh, today we're gonna be opening uh, some fall tins from 2020, the Slavion and Glaceon that you guys see back in the back. Um, these came out uh, for the fall of 2020. Um, each one comes with a promo um, and there's four packs inside. Of those packs, I believe we have He's open. We have one Crimson Invasion, one Sun in, or one Burning Shadows, one Sun and Moon, and one Evolutions. There's a code card for that, guys, for you. I'm gonna pop this other guy open really quick, and we'll get into this opening. I hope you guys did enjoy that last video. It was, like I said, it was a long one. Thanks for staying uh, tuned in for that. Uh, it was, uh, it was long. Let me tell you, we did over, I think we did 200 packs of Vivid Voltage on that set. So let's go with best to last. Let's go with, I would say, let's go with worst to best. We'll go with Sun and Moon Base first. We'll follow it up with two Crimson Invasion after. Wherever the other Crimson Invasion is back there. Sun and Moon, I am mixing everything up. Crimson Invasion, and then we'll go to Evolutions, and then we'll go to Burning Shadows. Because Burning Shadows may have a sweet Charizard in it. So, without further ado, let's get it, let's go. The cards you guys see in the background, I did end up getting. Uh, these are the prime cards from the, uh, I believe they are from the Heart Gold Soul Silver time frame. Uh, so they're getting fairly old. They are the next rumored set to start going up in value. I did purchase these through an auction off Pokemon World. Pokemon World. Make sure to check those out. The, low, the uh, auction was from Mr. Andy Drifter. All right, let's get into this. Corsilla, Energy Retrieval, Steetony, Young Goose, Paris, Caterpie, Mahu Makuhita, Chinchow, Energy Switch, and Udioid, I don't even know his name. But yeah, I did purchase those, those cards, you know, uh, through an auction. I actually did get also, let me find it, I just had it out, because I was showing it to someone. This was also in the lot. Look at that. Base set. Alakazam. Doesn't make, get you much more vintage than that. That was the first card printed for the English base set. And another Redeem Code card. Nothing fancy on this one. But it's Sun and Moon. See, we, we can do fine with the, uh, the Redeem Code cards on, you know... Sun and Moon, we can even do Lily, Parasect, we can do even, you know, uh, the green code cards on the other Crimson Invasion sets, we want white code cards on nothing but the Burning Shadows and the Evolutions, because that is where the magic counts. All right, let's get into it. Ooh, we got a TC go on our first Crimson Invasion. Wish us luck. White code card. Here we go. Darkness Energy, Sea of Nothingness, Mill Tank, Zuelis, Aeron, Remoraid, Alolan Geodude, Dionio, Shellos, Countercatcher, and Gagoat Holographic. Very nice, very nice but not what we're looking for. To be honest, in Crimson Invasion, haven't opened a lot of it, but I really don't know what to look for in Crimson Invasion. I believe there's a Sylvali, uh, I believe, being that he's on the front of the pack, but, ooh, Gastrodon, Cow, ooh, that's a cool looking card. Now, well, Shelmet, Swabaloo, Sweenub, Nummel, Minchino, Aeron, and Wigglytuff. Very mean Wigglytuff with a Weedle in the background. It's very angry at her. Hmm. Burning Shadows is up next, guys. This could have a white code card, baby. This could have a freaking Charizard in it, and oh boy, wouldn't that be sweet to see. Because the Rainbow Pikachu has eluded me for so long, I am 350 packs deep in Vivid Voltage, still with no 
Oh, 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 GX, very nice looking card out of Burning Shadows, first hit of the day. I'll take it, I'll take it. Very nice hit of the day. All right, first hit, good hit. You always love the legendaries. I've gotta say that I think that the Jeez, I cannot get this back home to save my life. The second set of Pokemon. We're talking Cyndaquil, Chikorita, and Totodile. That set is by, I think, my favorite set of Pokemon. It is by far, that's the one where I was into it the most. Everyone loves base sets. I don't think everyone gives enough love. Electric and Heracross gives enough love to base set or not base set, the second gen Pokemon. Now time for evolutions. I think I was gonna do that backwards, but I think I said at the beginning of the video, we'll do, uh, what was it? Yeah, Burning Shadows last, but hey, we're doing, we're doing this. We got another green code card, ladies and gents. Nothing fancy, nothing fancy coming out of this. I believe this one is just, no, 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 okay. I don't know what's going on. I think it's three. We'll, we'll see at the very end. Voltorb, Sandshrew, Poliwag, Diglett, and Sandshrew Reverse Rare, Raticate. Very cool looking Sandshrew. Not sure if I have him yet, but we are on to the last pack, ladies and gents. Told you this was gonna be a pretty quick video. We have a TC Go code card, white code card. Let's hope that we pull something sweet, guys. Let's hope. That we pull something sweet. Super Potion, Charizard Spirit Link, Charmeleon, Ponyta, Drowsy, Electabuzz, Vulpix, Sandshrew, Tangler Reverse, and ooh, Pidgeot EX. Very sweet card. I do have this one. This is the last evolutions that I have. Well, guys, we didn't get a lot of hits today as we only opened eight packs, but we did get two cool hits. We got the Ho-Oh GX and the Pidgeot EX. Either way, very nice looking cards, very nice looking cards. Well, I'm not sure what's up next. I think we are probably gonna try to do some more Vivid Voltage next, uh, but we'll have to see. We're still on the hunt for that Rainbow Pikachu, guys. I can't buy it. I don't wanna buy it. I wanna open it and show it to y'all. I want you guys to be there to witness it with me when I freak out and we pull that freaking Rainbow Pikachu. Cause it's, you know, we keep rolling the dice. It's bound to happen one day. Or like I said, I am 350 plus packs deep into Vivid Voltage as I will pan and show you my messy desk. How many Vivid Voltage Booster box, booster box, booster box, booster box. I have opened, oh, don't forget up there, uh, another booster box that I've opened of Vivid Voltage. So that's five booster boxes down. I would show you, uh, I'll show you under my desk because it is still messy, but here, it's, it's for the video, guys. Look at look at how many ETBs I've went through. So many ETBs, sorry it's a mess. Yeah, you know, I got my shipping stuff for, you know, when I do uh, ripping ships, or not ripping ships, claim sales, but you see a lot of Vivid Voltage there. Um, there is still a couple ETBs that have been flying or hanging around, you know, that I haven't, uh, that I did get rid of when I got rid of some of my bulk. So don't think that's all I've opened because I've opened a lot more than that, along with, you know, the countless blisters. And, you know, like I said, I'm just going to go cry in a corner at this point uh, and hopefully maybe get the Rainbow Pikachu on the next vivid opening. Until next time, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you later.